Here we are at the Chili Bowl. Steve Post from Wing Nation caught up with the 10-time World of Outlaw champs, Donnie, uh, champ Donnie Schatz. Donnie, uh, took a year off from the Chili Bowl. What, what got you back into the bug to come to Tulsa this year? <laughs> well, it's a great event. Uh, sitting at home last year, didn't really enjoy that a whole lot, but um, I had to get comfortable in the car. You know, it, Mark Cooper at Spike, um, good friend of mine, he said, hey, I'll build you a car around you. So we took my seat that I used in the sprint car and uh, built a car around me, and so that's why I'm here. So I got a car that I feel comfortable in. I can move around. I'm, I'm not a small guy, but I'm not a huge guy, so – uh, that's why we're here, having a good time. Good time for sure. The one thing that we don't have to worry about is any rust on you. My gosh, you went down under, you won five out of five races. One got rained out. Um, what's that like going to Australia, and, and why do you keep doing that every year? You know, it's a huge part of who I am. Um, I've been going there since um, pre-2000. So, you know, you build a fan base there. You, you know, have a lot of friends there. The unfortunate part is you can only go to one place in one day, and there's so many great places and racetracks to go over there. And, um, I've just made a habit to, to stay in one spot and kind of use it as a vacation, and uh, it's a race and vacation, so I get to do both things I love, you know, relax and uh, and do some racing. So I get to take some friends along and have a great time. Jason Sides went with me again, so we had a we had a blistering time that uh, social media got to see a little bit of it, but not all of it, thank goodness. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just who I am, and uh, I enjoy it. Finally, uh, we're not that far away. You get wrapped up at the Chili Bowl to Volusia in the season. How are things looking for your World of Outlaw effort this year? Things are looking really good. Um, I've got to spend a, a fair amount of time with the guys this winter at the shop a couple days a week. And, um, man, the 15 team that, that's been there, Scuba and, and Brad and Jacob, they're all excited. They're doing a great job. And I think the, the most rewarding part is Tony has come in and made a lot of changes. Um, obviously, we lost Jimmy Carr and – uh, now it's Rick Warner's taking over his stuff, and Rick's done a great job with the Ford program. So we really feel like we're teammates. And mm -hmm. before we run two different packages, um, so we can feed off each other again. And he's uh, he's exceptionally well at the data when we, we do things. He likes how, how my car feels, and I like some of the things that he says. So um, we should be able to help each other. Uh, we ultimately want to help him, and and he wants to help us. So. That's the, the all you can really ask for when you have uh, that many people under one roof uh, going the same direction. So win or lose, uh, we're going to have a great time with it, and uh, we're, we're excited for this year. And finally, you spent three quarters of last season answering the question, when does the Ford go in? When does the Ford go in? You finally got that in. What's it going to be like this year knowing that getting it in is, is a huge step that's out of the way and as you develop it over the course of this season? It, it's going to be fun. Um, you know, I got to see it on the front stages and, and see how it felt. It was really, uh, really awesome the way it drives, the way it throttles to me. Um, it was right to my liking to begin with. So when you get something that's that good from the word go uh, and you're able to work on it and it's, you know, we're super excited about it. We're having a little trouble getting uh, as much inventory built up as we, as we need, but um, that's, that's what's to be expected. So right now we're, you know, we're going to go test next week and, uh, hopefully we don't have any issues, but we're ready to, to get the season started and Tony's going to go do some running too. So yeah, it's, uh, we're excited about it. Um, you know, the, the motors in this day of age have all gotten so everybody doing the same thing. This guy talks to this guy and you know, everything, everybody feeds off each other. There's no feeding off this. There's nothing the same, you know, this is kind of out in left field and, um, that's great. That's what we were looking for. That's, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be great for us and hopefully we can continue to build on it and make it as successful as what we have the aspirations for it. Well, we wish you the best this weekend and then on into the World of Outlaw season. Thank you. How about that? That's Donnie Schatz, 10-time World of Outlaw champ here. He's driving the Sage Fruit car and these reports are brought to you by Sage Fruit, an exceptional eating experience.